Morning guys, I am out on the S18 this morning. It's uh, one, I think it's one degree or zero. So um, it's nice and chilly. You can see the ground is nice and frosty. But uh, this is just a nice uh, ride. I just want to get out, get some more miles on the S18 now that the board has been re replaced. Um, I think you all know my shock settings now. Um, 75 kilogram rider about 165 pounds and I'm running a 220 in the main chamber and 90 in the negative um, but this ride what I want to do is I want to find out from you guys what do you think about these power pads and the extra pads that you fit to the side of your unicycles um, and if this is a good idea for a new rider the reason why I'm asking is I've had um, a, quite a few guys ask me, they, they, they almost, um, they feel like they have to buy um, power pads or, or uh, side pads for their wheels when they start learning. And for me, um, personally, I think um, it's not needed, especially if you're learning. Um, you don't need the power pads. Um, I think if, you, if you're going to be jumping and really uh, uh, doing aggressive riding, then the power pads come into its own. It's really good and, it, and, it, and you can really hook your feet underneath. So if you hop up curbs and this and that and the other. Um, I've been riding for quite a few years now and um, I've never had um, the luxury of having a set of, of, of pads. I actually also prefer, again, I haven't tried it, um, but I've had some um, a, 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 a sort of foam that I stuck to my previous wheels just so that I can get more grip on the side of the wheel. So it's not the new style power pass that, that, you, uh, that you do get that you totally locked in, but I've sort of made some modifications to my previous wheels so I can get a more of a locked in feeling. But th that was only for a specific type of riding. And that was like uh, like heavy trail riding where I need a little bit of more grip just over my front toe. So um, if I need to hop over something or get that extra bit of grip, um, especially on a very flat wheel, that does help. But there was just a few uh, rubber mats that were uh, stick together so it just creates that extra bit of lip that I can hook my foot underneath and I, I see there's such a nice uh, solutions at the moment where you um, where it's velcro attached you know that's so nice to be able to uh, adjust the power pad to your ride for that day so you can move it up a bit so it's a more relaxed one or down a bit so if you want a really locked in feel but that's for me, I think that's more if you are a hardcore rider, not even a hardcore rider, a medium to hardcore rider. Um, if you're learning, I think don't stress yourself out. Don't worry about getting uh, power pads or these pads or whatever. The main thing about learning is to get the feel for your wheel. You need to be able to uh, Feel, uh, learn how the wheel moves between your legs and how it feels leaning in and 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 leaning and leaning back and I find um, especially on the smaller wheels and even with this with this wheel um, when I'm cruising I don't need pads you know I can go for miles in the forest even on mountain bike trails I don't need the pads um, so um, yeah please don't get tensed out about it <laughs> I would just, if, you, if you're keen to get into um, EUC riding, choose a nice wheel that you like the look of. You know, all the craze of the suspension wheels and the non-suspension wheels. Um, I think, that, you know, you, ca you can't pretty much go wrong with the wheels on the market at the moment. Yes, you might get a problem wheel, but that, that applies to anything really. Uh, buying anything new or leading edge, you might get a problem wheel. And, and we've seen quite a few, a few of the wheels that, 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 that had like suspension problems or, or quality problems. But, you know, we are now quite a few months um, into the first uh, cycle of like the S18, the V11, uh, 
the uh, RS and all those wheels. And, and if you look after stuff and not ride it in the rain and, and super, uh, 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 you know, sandy conditions or whatever, so it doesn't get in the bearings, these things will probably last forever. But there are going to be a few that you're going to have troubles with, and that sort of applies. Just make sure when you do buy a wheel um, that you buy it um, from a dealer that give you some warranty and support. Um, again, you don't really have to, but it gives you that peace of mind, especially for first-time buyers. Or buy a second-hand wheel, go and check it out, see if you can ride it, make sure everything works. And then, um, and then, uh, and then get it and get started, man. the 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 best thing is not to not to think too much about it. <laughs> I I spent months when I started riding. I spent months looking at wheels, but, you know, because it's a lot of money to pull the trigger to buy one of these things, and then you don't know if you're going to get it right and all that stuff. And it's like, an, oh man, it's like. A, so when I eventually bought it, I spent probably about two days really like practicing hard and then I got it right. And then from there, it's, that's pretty much the end of it. Then you just get better and you just get more comfortable. And um, you know, I, I did a lot of trail riding with my 9 bot 16 inch wheel. No suspension or any funny business, not massive range or anything. It's just a fun wheel to get out and ride. And um, I use that to go to work as well. <laughs> That's like a nuts if you think about it. But um, but yeah, guys, you know, don't overthink it. Go and get a wheel that you like. Um, I suggest as well for new riders, don't get a massively heavy wheel. Try and get a mid-range wheel that's, that's a little bit lighter and more agile. And yeah, just... Uh, just go out and ride these things, man. Get used to it. Summer's on the way, well, yeah, in Europe. And, um, and, 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 you know, get riding now so when summer hits or spring and summer, you're going to be ready to rock and roll. So, uh, yeah, um, just to finish off on the power pads side, for new riders, I think power pads is not needed. Um, personal opinion, but I've really never needed it um, for my normal trail riding um, and just getting used to new wheels, you know. You want a bit of movement so you can adjust your feet and get used to the wheel. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get the 360 out. I'm gonna uh, do a bit of forest riding without no pads and um, then I'll, uh, I'll finish up on the way back. But yeah, it's a lovely day here in the UK. So, come along and enjoy the ride.
invincible. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the ride. I'm a little bit uh, out of breath. There's some really nice little, little, little sections. It's tight turns and whatever, but it's still very muddy in the forest, but uh, it's so much better. See if you get uh, a few days of no rain, it actually drains and the mud goes away. And I must say, I can't wait for spring and then summer to ride this wheel a little bit faster on these trails so guys again just to uh, just to conclude uh, about the, the power pad pads things um, and what I think what I think about it I think it's a great idea um, if you want if you're a bit more medium to advanced riding you want to do some jumps and hops and whatever it's really a good idea but for learners just starting out um it's i don't think personally is needed I, for me it was always about getting to know my wheel first and the feel of how it feels um a lot of guys make make it look very easy on the on on uh, on youtube because they've been riding for such a long time and and it feels natural um when i was um Try, well, I'm still teaching my daughter how to ride and it's not easy um, you need to get that feel for the wheel you need to relax and sort of put your weight into the wheel so you can just you just glide hang your arms next to your side and feel comfortable um, but yeah guys I hope that helps someone um, but get out get a wheel and get riding this is uh, an awesome sport um but yeah drop in the comments below what you guys think and what you've experienced um i would love to get myself a, a, a pair of power pads but again on on the s18 personally for me and the riding that i do i don't really need it i like to be able to get on and get off and not have to adjust stuff the whole time i, I just want to ride um but i think it would would be um would make a big difference or it would make a difference at least um, when you do like heavy trail riding but okay guys i hope you enjoyed the ride and i'll see you on the next one cheers guys